welcome to my domain, brave warrior. It has been 700 years since they buried me in this tomb. And not once have I had a visitor. I am not here to visit you, lich. Well, just fucking kill me then. With my holy blade and pure heart, I have come to end thee. Come to me, noble warrior. Let the black wave of death crush over me. Your time has come, dreadlord. <laughs> At last, foul lich. Now you Hold will... Hold on, shut up. Has... Thou has lain with the fairer sex? Well, yeah. You said you are pure of heart. Well, I am pure of heart. No! No, no, no! You had sex, man! Get the fuck out of here! This isn't over yet, Lich. Oh, it's over, asshole! Unless you can unfuck that girl over there, it's over! God damn it! Is it just me, Dracula? Or are none of these 30 year old warriors virgins anymore? Do you have any idea how many Catholic fucking knights there used to be? Loads and loads of sexless older men. We were dying left and right. There weren't enough of us. Believe me, Stephen, for I have suffered such a fate as yours. Each night I take to the mortal world seeking virgin blood. But alas, I seem to find less and less. Kids these days, they're having too much sex! I'm sorry, Stephen. Sometimes I let such matters get the best of me. I would stay and talk more with you, Dreadlord, but once more I must say to my deadly thirst. Now, former bat! Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? Guys, don't say that. It's insensitive. Look, we need some fucking gold coins. Yeah, for lunch. Lunch was an hour ago. I saw you guys there. Oh, unless you took the rest of them last time. Well, how about those enchanted girl's clothes? <laughs> Why the fuck you wearing a dress anyways? Ignorant fools, it is not a dress. It is a death shroud. Oh, God. Dracula, don't. They'll beat the shit out of us. Form of a wolf. Ah! What the fuck is that? Is that a chocolate lamp? <laughs> what a fucking loser. Ugh, fuck you guys. Hey there, Steven, just checking in. Been a lot of complaints of things going missing down in this dungeon this week. She wants to see if you had anything to report. Anything missing or out of place. Nope, everything's been pretty normal around here. Alright, never can be too careful. So, uh, your Dracula friend, he came by the station the other day. See how they had to run in with a Cyclops and a Minotaur? They have been giving you any trouble? Nah, he's just overreacting. It's fine. <laughs> Figures. That boy sure can't take a punch, can he? But seriously, Stephen, I might be a ghost, but I'm still an officer of the law. And bullying is a serious problem. If they ever cross the line or touch you in a way you don't want to be touched... No, really, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. Alright, okay. But just know I'm here for you if you need someone to talk to. Remember, fear does not control us unless we let it. Well, you know where to find me, Steve. Have a good one. Thanks, Sergeant Automally. You too. Steven, something's different. Have you been perhaps polishing your crown? Yeah. You know, trying to look better, feel better. Any special reason? Well, I don't know. I met this girl. Steven, that's wonderful! It's so good to see you getting over Ellis! Yeah, it's complicated, though. I don't think she wants to take it to the next level. Steve, I don't think she wants to. You are the dreadlord of this dungeon. Why don't you just take her? I don't know, man. Perhaps slip into her room in the dead of night, glide into her window and cast a glamour over her mind. A spell of desire so deep, it removes all choice from the equation. I don't know, Dracula. That sounds a lot like rape. Oh, Stephen, it is not rape. Do not be silly. We vampire have been doing this for thousands of years. I don't know, Dracula. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to. 
But her wants are not your need, Stephen. You must take her. Take her now! The more you explain it, the more it definitely sounds like rape. Stephen's rape. Damn you, Sergeant O'Malley! Hey, Steve, can I talk to you about something? Of course, Jason. We've been here how many years now? You don't come around enough. What's up? You know, I've been working down in this dungeon for ten years now, and I've been putting all my money aside, saving up for well, this. It's an engagement ring. Spent my life savings on it. I'm finally going to ask Stacy to marry me. Jason, that's perfect. You guys were made for one another. You know we're all jealous when we see you two come around. Well, here's the thing. My brother was killed last year, and I really came to ask you. Stephen, would you be my best... <coughs> uh, Steve! <coughs> Behold, fellow adventurers, rare loot from this fallen knoll. An enchanted ring of engagement. Don't be so hasty, warrior. You know we have to roll for that boon. <laughs> Very well, wizard. Far be it for I to disregard the rules of adventure. Gather round, companions. <laughs> A six. The gods smile upon me this day. Very well. To the victor goes the spoils. Punning this will buy me many a tome. That is true, friend. But our adventure is not over yet. For still we seek the crypt of that cursed vampire. That coward will pay for the rape of our women. I spend one dark mana to play go for the throat. It destroys your target artifact. Hey, it's been a few days. Where you been? Well, if you must know, I got locked up by the pigs. I didn't know Brittany had been drinking, and, uh, by the third hickey, I got a little fucked up. Brittany? Oh, right. My new girlfriend, Stephen. I've been rolling with a new crowd, and they like to party. I believe she's a gypsy. Lives in a moving home. You mean a mobile home? She has a belly button ring, and, uh, we're going steady. How's she even into you? You're like 3,000 years old. She says I'm mysterious. And that they look like Adam Levine. Where are you going, man? You just got in. Do lay down, Stephen. I blazed on the way over here. I've had wings for millennia, but they have never flown this high. Take it easy, losers. And if it's easy, take it twice. So the crazy thing is, jet fuel doesn't even burn that hot. I mean, this documentary, it's no joke. They did their fucking research, but the craziest part of it is what happened to Building 7. Oh, thank God. Play! Play! Come in here! Well, I'm busy. No, you're not. You're never busy. Okay, guys, I'll not let it go, but if you really want to do this... Look, I know... You're having a party Saturday, and didn't invite me. I get it, you don't want me around. Hey, wait a minute, didn't Will give you your- You guys are all hanging out, having a great time, and suddenly, old Flay walks in, and the girls turn around like, What? Look, I know what people say about me, I've heard it. You invite Flay, you get no Flay. And yeah, fine, I guess that's true, and I know you're still mad about Rachel, but she was DTF, and I can't help that I'm that kind of guy that likes to hit it and- Dude, Rachel said she, like, totally rejected you. Yeah, I saw her the other night. She's totally over it, man. Typical, I get that a lot. Girls keep trying to figure me out. Fine, I'm pretty much undateable. And then they try to lock me down, but even I don't know where I'm gonna be tomorrow. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to me, you can only count on two things. Number one, I flay mines. And number two, I slay... Flay, hold on. Look, don't worry, man. We're cool. I just wish you weren't such a little bitch about the whole thing. Oh, Flay, I've been looking for you, man. I'm having a party Saturday night. Tons of chicks coming. You're on the list. VIP. I wish you told me sooner. Big... Big plans that night. Gonna be knee deep in sluts. Thanks for thinking of me. You're a uh, you're a stand up guy, Will. Well, I'd love to stay, guys, but I I gotta fly. Anyways, there's this other conspiracy says the whole thing could have been done with get this holograms. Well, I don't care how cool it is. I'm not gonna buy it till it's a special edition. 
Because fuck paying for all that DLC. Yeah, but technically it's not DLC if it's a pre-order bonus. Hold on, who's that? Dracula? I didn't recognize you, where's the cape? It's the rest of the 13th century, old man. You guys should really get with the times. <laughs> but you're a vampire. Vampire? That's just a label. You might as well just call yourself a skeleton. Okay then, what are you calling yourself now? Well, if I had to say I'm one thing, I guess you could say I'm a nightwalker. Like a male prostitute? A lot more accurate than you think, Flay. What are you even doing down here, Dracula? Didn't you say you'd be gone all night? The doors to Club Coven don't open to half past nine. We need the place to chill while we blaze some bud. Not that it's any of your business. T-Mox is playing at ten. Babe, come on. These guys wouldn't know who they were. Aren't you a little young to be going out to those shows? You can't tell me what to do, I'm 18! Jesus Christ. He's a lie. Okay, that's it. This is, this is too painful, Steve. I, I can't do this anymore. I, I seriously can't. But the night is still young, Flay. Not as young as your girlfriend, you fucking creep. Dave, I'll be in my room if you want to hang out later. Leave it to that tentacle tool bag to spoil the mood. But no matter, my sweet. The hour is half past eight, and Zemok beckons. It's like I'm sitting there in bed. Like I'm trying, but I can't even picture his face. It's like part of me wants to forget. You ever feel like that, Dracula? Yeah, 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 Jason. I think about them all the time. Whatever. Uh, my name's Holly. Jason's the one who died. You know, Dracula, you should really come to Jason's remembrance. You weren't even around when he got killed last week. Ha! <laughs> and how many kegs will be at this event? Well, Brandon's party has procured three. A triple kegger, Stephen. And you expect me to miss it? So, that's it? You're not coming? Oh, don't worry. I'll pour one out for him. <laughs> what am I saying? With three kegs, I can pour out a few. That's cool, but I think the guys would really appreciate if you made an appearance. Stephen, it's spring break. The flowers are in full bloom. And yes, this is a euphemism for sex. You know, Stephen, you should join me. Take it from a bat. It's not bad to be a wingman. Plenty of side pussy, as they say. I don't really think it's appropriate for me to skip Jason's funeral. Dracula, I was there when he died. I was going to be his best man. But Stephen... Kingdoms have come and gone, civilizations built and reduced to rubble, all without seeing a party such as this. But they were looking for you. When Jason died, they were looking for you. Stephen, I understand, but the people of St. Vincent's Vocational Technical Regional High School are also looking for me. Looking for me to arrive at 10 p.m. on the dot with three kegs with the back of Brandon's truck. For I am the only one of age to purchase the cakes. They need me, Stephen. Brandon's parents are out of town and his bitch of a mother took his fake ID. Well, say hello to Brittany for me. I wish you the best, Jason, in this your time of trial. I think it was a really beautiful service. It was really spiritual. It was like he was in the room with us. Man, little girl, she's Stacy. She was a wreck. Yeah, it's got to be hard losing someone you love that young. He wasn't that young, Steve. Steven, pack everything! We have to go! There's no time! Oh, Dracula, come down! What's going on? Thought you were at the kegger! I was there, Steven. Curse my blindness, but I was there! We were all in danger, Steven! And it's all because of me! Chillax, man, it's all good! Calm down, tell what's up! It all began three hours ago. I was there at Brandon's kegger, and I was well on my way to getting truly fucked up. It was then that Brandon came to me. He held out his hand and said, Hey, bruh, try one of these. Knowing not what it was, I turned to Brittany and she nodded approvingly. I asked what it was and she told me not to worry, that it was an MDMA, a term which until tonight I believed was a rare form of mixed martial arts. That's smaller, dude. No, Flay, I told you, her name is Brittany. So what happened next? My head was swimming with ethereal visions and my stomach turned. 
week, I climbed the branded water closet thinking that relieving myself may aid the symptoms. But it was then I saw something truly terrible. The door to Brandon's lair was askew, and within I could see many curious things. It was there I saw it, Stephen, our very undoing hanging there in plain sight. A uniform of the French Holy Order of St. Vincent, the Knight of the Cross! Right. A Holy Order of Knights at a high school party. Uh huh. Flay, you doubt me even now? But I procure proof which even you cannot deny. I must look away, friends, lest the Holy Raymond blind me with its searing light! The Cross. Fucking. The cross. Surely you must believe me now, friends. Surely you understand the danger we face. It also says wildcats, idiot. Oh shit, the wildcats? Have your crazy season this year. The great lion sigil of House Davenport. Oh wait, dude, you're talking about Brandon Davenport? Man, that kid's got a crazy arm. Wildcats are undefeated this year. They're saying they can even take state. My god, the entire state! Brittany! In my haste to escape the Templar's trap, I abandoned her in Brandon's deadly sanctum! Look, Dracula, lacrosse is just a game, man. I don't even bother, Steven. Just let him go, do whatever he's gonna do. This is fucking pointless. Ready the wagons, the weapons, the steeds! I leave now to retrieve my love, and we must away upon the morrow! Dracula, away! Ready, Steven. Come to dawn. Look to the east. Dude, this is crazy. This must be what it feels like to get laid. Brandon fucking Davenport. I hear you, Flay, but what can you do? All I'm saying is he smokes that shit way too much. Once in a while, fine, whatever, but come on, every day? It's not like we can make him stop, it is life, Flay. You know, I was reading in Infowars just the other day that the government only criminalized weed in the first place so they could get rid of as many black and Latinos as possible. It's like opium all over again. What does that have to do with anything? I guess you guys can go on and keep ignoring me. I swear to God, when you guys are around, it's like I don't even exist. Oh, what's wrong? Does my shoulder cry on out of the high school? I don't think they're cool anymore. Well, that would be nice, but I don't, like, expect it. Why are you down here anyways? They said we were losers. To be fair, we all still think you're a loser. It was Brittany. She wielded no stick, no axe, no holy blade, yet my heart was pierced. You guys broke up? It was my own fault, really. I left her at the triple kegger alone and wanting, and Brandon saw his chance. I see it now that his place in her advanced women's literature course was a ruse. He has forever spit upon the sacred title that is study, buddy. Now what do you want to do about it? I want you to join me, Flay. Join me in my sorrow. To bathe deep and eternal the status and gloom of a heart lost to pain. No, fuck that. Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't worry, Stephen. He can't hurt me now. Nothing can anymore. No, fuck this. He does it every time. He just wants attention. If you're gonna forgive him, if it's gonna go back to normal, then someone else will come along, he'll latch on again, start acting like a dick, you'll see. But he's really hurting, man. I really am, Flay. Look at you, dude. You can't put on a leather jacket and some shades and suddenly think you're somebody else. Of course she left you. You were a sting, Flay. But yes, I should have known. The signs were there. His constant attention. Her comments about his cute face and ripped figure. She even suggested that we all fool around together one of these nights. Have a threesome, as she called it. Well, Stephen, I ask you this. When is a threesome not a threesome? When I'm not in it! <laughs> ah, don't worry, Dracula. I'm sure things will work out somehow. Thank you, Stephen. I see now to claim that which I love I must fight. Fight and never lose hope. I didn't say that. You did not so many words, Stephen. Do you see, Flay? This is the true test of what it is to be a man. You must fight. Fight for what you love. Fight. Never lose hope. No, see? He's doing it. But you will never understand, Flay, for you are not a man of honor. So it will fall to me. He's doing it right now. To champion the cause of lost. To go forth and never question the path of true love to... You're not better than us, man. You're not cool. 
You're just crying, lying on the ground, begging us to be your friend again. To see with eyes I'm blinded by sadness, and to forgive as only one has overcome through pain may forgive. Don't you fucking dare, dude. Don't you fucking dare. Don't even try and pretend you were crying in front of all of us. I understand now so clearly that I always was, am, and forever will be a very brave and cool member of the group. What the hell is happening? Probably the coolest, actually. Is he even talking to us anymore? Maybe he's having a nervous breakdown. I will need another warrior to come with me. Steven, will you do me the honor? Brittany's father, Tom, says I'm a creep. And a guy my age has no place hanging around his daughter. Well, we shall see. Tom, we shall see. Is he gonna kill him? I mean, I guess I could come with you. What the hell, man? Look, Clay, I know you don't understand, but I have to do this. You're my friend, and I'm tired of listening to you guys fight all the time. No, Steve, this is serious. I think... I think I saw a gun in his room. Thank you, Stephen. That was just the boost I needed. Steal thy heart, perish, Brittany. I shall rescue you from the clutches of those who wish to keep us apart. Oh, she left you! Dude, maybe it's good thing Stevie went with him. Look at this note I found on the floor. I think Dracula might do something really dangerous tonight. No, dude. These are Lincoln Park lyrics. He's just a fucking loser. Hey there, boys. How you holding up? Oh, hey, Sergeant O'Malley. It's been a while. Yeah, we're good. What's up with you? Well, I was wondering if you boys could help me crack a case. Now, listen. I know this sounds crazy, but there's been some serious drug trade going on around here. And it's weaker down by Shady O, so he's been seeing what looks like a box coming and going from there to this cave. A box? That's what he said. Does that mean anything to you? Does it have an attitude problem and say chomp chomp every two seconds? Yep, that's the one. Everyone, stop what you're doing and listen to me! Okay, now that I have your undivided attention, I would like to read you all something. Something very close to my heart that I really think you will all appreciate. I present to you now a reading of the poem, I'm sorry. Written just this afternoon by me, Dracula. It's not the poem if no one's ever heard of it before, is it? I am so, so sorry. To all my friends, but I'm here to remind you friendship never ends. And it makes me sick, sick to my stomach that I left you here, all alone and flummoxed. You all said he's cool, you all said he's awesome. But then you all saw him leave because true love did blossom. She was super hot, barely seventeen, when I took her beneath my wings and made her my queen. I was wined and dined, I was sixty-nine, but now I've come to find that sometimes love is blind. He had a muscled chest and arms for days, and he was so fucking good at all the sports he plays. But she never loved him, no, not like me, and someday she'll leave him, cause someday she'll see. See, I'm still here, and see what we had was real. See that it never ended, because I'm still so chill. Uh, that last night was kind of a stretch. Yeah, it didn't really rhyme. I once kissed her in a car. I once kissed her in a bar. And yes, I kissed her on the train and in the dark and in the rain. I bet you what, Sam, I am. I keep kissing till I could kiss no more and things would be just like they were before. I miss her face. I miss her touch. I miss her. I miss her all oh, so much. Is this poem even about us? Looks like he's feeling a lot of emotions right now. Best to just let it run its course, Stephen. Sad, sad, sad. Pain, pain, pain. Oh, will I, will I ever feel again? It makes me sick. It makes me hate. Cause what we had was fucking great. And Tom was an unemployed, that lazy fuck. And all he loves is sports and trucks. I could kill and I could murder anyone who ever hurt her. Okay, kid. That's crossing the line. I just miss her every day. Oh, why, oh, why'd she go away? He's not even looking at his paper anymore. Dude, he's freestyling. So I guess that's it. I'm out of time. I'm out of words. I'm out of rhymes. I'm so out of caring about loving girls. I'm so fucking over it. I hate the world. Oh, yeah. So, like, is that supposed to be an apology? Like, Jack, come kind of chest? Well, I've never seen that down here before. Never seen what down here before? Hey, what was that? What? It wasn't me. What was that? What was that? Typical bunch of guys coming around here where they don't belong objectifying me. Oogling my box. But you are a box. Like, that's all you are. A box. 
Oh, that's it? That's all I am? So you're telling me I'm not a 27-year-old graduate of Minnesota University with a strong and independent spirit and a dedication to his craft? No, you are absolutely not. Because boxers can't go to college. Oh, oh, hey. We're really sorry. We just weren't sure if anyone had left us here. Nobody leaves me here. Nobody leaves me anywhere. I go where I want to, do what I want to, collecting mystical treasures where I want to, when I want. So, you've got treasures inside you? Oh, here we go. Typical. Bunch of guys wandering down where they don't belong, see a big chest or a tight little box, and suddenly all they can think of is getting inside. No, I didn't mean it like that. Like you don't have some rich fucking treasures packed away inside of you, big bird. Rich like cheesecake and devil dogs, you fat fuck. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, let's calm down here. This is clearly just a misunderstanding. Oh, calm down, calm down. Well, I'm surrounded by two grown men in a bitch bed trying to get their grubby little fingers all up inside me. We do not want whatever's inside you. Steve, let's go. Oh, you want it, all right. I can smell it on you. You're thinking, somewhere, somehow, some godforsaken warlock enchanted a treasure chest to protect his dearest relics, and your mind's going crazy wondering what they could be. No, we're not. You're thinking, oh, fuck, I can't wait to get my hands in these rustle them around looking for secrets. How do you think you're confused? Well, just try it, asshole. Try it. I'll chomp you. I'll chomp you good. Reach that sweet little hand over my way just see what happens. Go on. Do it. I know you wanna. Just try. Ah, uh, this might be impolite, but it's starting to sound like maybe you want us to open you up. Like, maybe this is less about us and more about you. Hey, right, I, I think this is some kind of trick. Get them cowards coming down here, objectifying me, telling me what you want, and then running away? But you are an object. You are literally 100% an object. I mean, come on, who knows what could be locked away inside me? You gotta be wondering. Is it me? Am I the one? The one who's finally gonna get what's in there? Could have been there for thousands of years. Could have been anything. Well, hey, man. I, I really hope you're able to work out whatever's going on in your life. Uh, uh, sorry again for anything we may have done to upset you. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah, go on! Don't you come back unless you plan on getting chomped! What I got's precious! Ain't no one's getting it! Don't get me honest, guys. I'm gonna be up all night wondering what's inside him. That's right! Get out! Chop, chop, fuck face! Are they even coming? Hey, dudes! The party essentials. Okay, now that we're all here, I'd like to thank everyone for making it out tonight. Seriously, guys, it means a lot, and it's great to see you. Oh, God damn it, Drew. You invited us all out here for this. Well, if some people had stopped talking about me behind my back, I wouldn't have to play. Well, it's hard not to talk about you behind your back when you're never around, dude. Plus, it's not as fun to talk about the stuff you do when you're there. It just kind of makes it sad. That's true, man. Super sad, dude. Like, that look in your eye right now, dude. Dude, that's why nobody does in front of you. Well, I apologize that my look makes things awkward for you. Maybe you should try appreciating my feelings. Well, I mean, that kind of goes both ways, Dracula. I promise you, friends, the cruel spell of Brittany has now faded. And now all of my friends have moved away to college, so at long last your Dracula has returned. Okay, like, is this a party? Because it sucks. Yes, it does suck. It sucks to hear you've been called a drama queen and a beach boy by those who claim to be your friends. Oh, is that all you've heard? <laughs> We've said way more, dude. Way more insults than that. Come on, Flay, that's not helping. What? He wants to know, right? I mean, that's why we're all out here. We're fucking sick of you, dude. You're never around. You act like you're the shit. And you treat the rest of us like trash while you're all partying with high schoolers. I mean, seriously, just go and buy a sports car already. That's what most people do when they're dealing with their midlife crisis. Wait. Dracula's immortal. Can you even have a midlife crisis when you're immortal? No, that's just, like, a regular crisis. Guys, come on. I guess, I mean, it just sucks hearing this. I know you all look up to me for being the cool, older, more experienced member of the group. And yeah, I'm sure it's easy to get jealous when you're dealing with a trend sitting pussy hunting millionaire like me. Nobody's jealous of you, dude. You're a millionaire? Why do you dress like that? Because I like the way it looks. It's cool to be me. And if I was a millionaire, I'd like buy like... Uh... Buy what? 
Uh oh, the sniper ship right there by that rock right there. Oh shit, Harry will go bears. Clutch snacking situation, dude. So I hear you guys loud and clear. You're uncomfortable with how okay I am being cool. And now we got to work something out, so what can we do about it? We're all perfectly okay to what we're doing. You're the one who asked us to come out here. Alright guys, how about this? How about I throw another log on? And we go around the circle and everyone says one thing they think I should improve myself on. Oh god, this is gonna be good. Okay, Mandusa, let's start with you. If you could change one thing about me, what would it be? I think... Maybe... I don't know. Trade that cape for a Gibson. Start like a band called... Called... <laughs> Mind Slayers? Yeah, Mind Slayers. Have play join in. Get that scream going on the wah wah. Alright, Ben. I like invest in a Ferrari dealership. And change the name to Nos Ferraris. And then I like have Nos Ferraris come in Nosferatu. Just like Nosferatu, you know, vampire shit. No, we know exactly what you meant, Ben. It just sucked. Brendan. What would I do with a million dollars? It didn't even matter. Half of it's going to the government, and the rest isn't even a drop in the bucket when you look at what the top CEOs make off their interest alone. But if I had to spend it, I'd get a bomb shelter, a thousand cans of soup, a mil spec AR-15 fully loaded with a Carpenter 158 steel bolt carrier armor sight, Orion 5 time night vision, and an ATN Thor 320 thermal imaging scope for self-defense. Okay, flee. I learned to shut the fuck up once in a while. No, really. That's it. Just keep your goddamn mouth shut. You, all right. Holy. Maybe don't focus on yourself so much, because, like, even now, letting us all talk, it's really just about you. Okay, okay. Steve, we've known each other for a millennia. Our bond runs deep. I know that you shall tell me the truth. Honestly, Dracula, even though it hurts to say this, I think you should... Uh, hey, guys. I was just sleeping in the woods when I heard you talking, and I saw this beautiful thing down there. What do you guys call that, anyways? The fire. The fire. <laughs> That's such a beautiful name. I think I'm gonna get closer. Go ahead, man. Plenty of room. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice. It's so warm. So bright. So warm. Oh, don't get too close. You don't want to burn yourself or anything. I think I should touch it. Yeah, touch it. Yeah. Just, just for a moment. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> well, yeah, go with the fire. Maybe it only hurts the first time. <laughs> Maybe I should do it again. Dude, this is actually happening. Or am I too fucked up? Both, bruh. It's like... He's Icarus. Ow. Oops. <laughs> Tell us, friend. What is your name and what business do you have at our... Fire. That concludes another meeting of the Midnight Society. Hey, wait. No, 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 we didn't resolve anything, guys. I didn't even get to say anything. Hey, come back. That was probably, like, seriously the most chill pow I've ever been to.